Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Vanessa, if you didn't already know. I know it's been a really, really long time since I've last posted, but I'm finally a bit more available. Uh, so I decided to do a chit chat, get ready with me, just to let you guys know what's happening in my life, all the new, good, and maybe bad. <laughs> this, as you can see, is the final look, and I guess we can get right into it. So I have my wig on right now, but it's not laid. I'm not planning to lay it until after I'm done. So I'm just gonna put it back. I have a fan in the background going just because it's really hot. So hopefully it doesn't make too much noise. I'll start off with a bit of primer from NYX Shine Killer. And y'all look. I went to, where was it? Superstore because I wanted to try out um, the new Lori, not the new, but like the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation because I've heard good stuff about it and they didn't have any makeup wipes and of course I decided to put on my face because that's how you're best going to match your foundation but that clearly wasn't a good idea um, it was really hard to get off I was trying to use water, soap and scrubbing with a paper towel from the bathroom uh, and still didn't come off I ended up getting a big pimple and it left this big mark okay so a bit of an update on me um, still in school. I actually, out of the two classes that I've been having this semester, that I've been in this semester, I completed one of them uh, a couple weeks ago. The one that I'm still in for statistic, I only have one class left, which is our exam for Tuesday. I'm not as nervous for the exam as some of the other people are because our class average during the midterm exam was 57%. That's not even a passing grade. I mean, I, I'm doing pretty well. I personally like math a lot, but our class is really, really struggling. But being in school for, what, 11 months? It's, it's really difficult. Oh, by the way, I'm using the Next Team and Frame Brow Pomade. An espresso. And I'm just gonna take a brown eyeshadow from the Morphe 350 palette, go in some areas. I purchased one of those facial hair trimmers so I don't have to go out and do my eyebrows and thread my upper lip. And I tried it out today. <laughs> of course, for the first time, I wasn't expecting to be an expert, but it turned out okay. I am going to put the Milani eyeshadow primer. Some other purchases that I made online recently from AliExpress, I purchased a, a tabletop ring light. It hasn't come yet. Uh, and then also from Tan Beauty, if you know about Tan Beauty, they have a bunch of different, I guess, makeup brands, a lot of drugstore affordable makeup brands, like Makeup Revolution is a big one, Freedom Makeup, I Love Makeup or I Heart Makeup is also available there. But I did purchase a handful of things that also hasn't come yet, so I'm still waiting on those. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is, I'm trying to go for a pink eye. I was thinking the pink in this palette from Too Faced, the Peppermint Mocha, Peppermint Mocha from the Grand Hotel Cafe, was a bit more pink, but it looks more purple, you can see. I'll still use it anyways. What I can do first is conceal my brows. I 
I also purchased an LA Girl Pro Concealer and a lighter color. I'm not gonna use it yet. When my um, stuff from Pam Beauty comes, I'm gonna I'm gonna use it along with the new stuff from there that I get. I brought um, an eyeshadow palette. Uh, I can't remember what it's, it's called, um, but I'm excited about that. I brought a blush. I don't think I brought any lip lip products. I can't remember what else I got. I brought a highlighter which I'm also really excited about because I was watching reviews as well of course I'm watching reviews um, to make sure um, it's worth it and it seems like it's worth it so okay, I'm gonna take a shade out of the Morphe 350 palette okay I'm going to try that one I also went to the dentist the other day. Um, it's a nice feeling when you don't have to pay for it. Because I'm still under my mother's insurance until August 31st and then I have my school insurance which covered a bit of it. So that was nice. One last thing I have to worry about paying. Okay, so I'm going to use this darker shade maple syrup and the Too Faced Gingerbread Cookie out from the Grand Hotel Cafe. I'm just gonna put that in the first area. I'm gonna go in with Candy Cane. Now for that shimmery shade, I'm going to spray some LA Go Pro concealer. There's still stuff in there. Okay, so as you can see, I brought the shimmering shade a bit over my uh, my lid, just because I like it to kind of like show that way, makes it more evident. So I've been hearing good things about the applying powder, a setting powder before foundation. So that's what I'm going to try to do today. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to apply it to the areas where I get the most oily. So of course my camera shut off. It was overheating. It's pretty hot. Um, it's 29 degrees right now outside. So. It takes even, it takes a quicker time to heat up. So in the meantime, I was just looking over some notes and charging the camera battery because I know it's gonna end up dying at one point. Okay, so where I left off was when I applied the powder. So now I'm going to conceal with my orange corrector. So now I can finally do my face. So I am going to mix, well not really mix, but I'm going to put on my face my Revlon Photo, Photo Ready Airbrush Effect in Caramel and I'm going to add the Wake Me Up Rimmel London Concealer. I'm always scared of missing a step. They don't apply makeup that often usually when I'm when I'm what do you call it, watching usually when I'm filming something or maybe for a special event so really it's not very often especially since I'm in school I don't really have the time to do all of that it's really just to make it a bit lighter So August 5th, I have family coming from Florida to visit for about a week. I'm quite excited about that. It's my aunt and my cousin who are coming. I've been wanting to visit Florida again though. 
the last time I went, we didn't, we wanted to go to Miami Beach, but we didn't have the time to, or we didn't get the chance to, I should say. Okay, so let me use my brush now and buff that out. So now, oops. I'm gonna use that same concealer and conceal the places that I need. I feel like I'm getting sick. My sister's boyfriend is sick, so that may be the cause. I don't usually I take um, Reactin and Nasonex. Nasonex, um, sometimes when I take it, it makes my throat feel scratchy but usually after a while it'll go away but this this is from yesterday so I feel like this is gonna become a full-blown cold so I definitely feel a difference since I applied the the powder before I put on my foundation. Like, I feel like this foundation is becoming more matte now. So now I can do my little contour. I'm using the Ellie Girl Pro Concealer in Chestnut. Okay, hopefully I didn't put on too much. I like that it's in this too, but it also... I don't like it at the same time. It's easy to go overboard with it. And then I'm gonna put that purple pink shade on the inner part. In the corner, I'm going to put this color Christmas blend in the same peppermint mocha palette. I'm going to use a little bit of the pink one in here, in the same palette. For highlight, I'm going to use that color, that gold color, and the 350 palette from Morphe. I'm going to put this Bite Beauty um, lip primer on and I will use this color statement lip liner from Milani and Spice. I'm going to use this Gosh Forever lip, lip shine in Love Story. And then this Milani color statement. Um, Lipstick and matte naked. All I have left now, I guess, is mascara. I got this on behalf of Influencer, complimentary of them. Uh, if you don't know what they are, they are a website where you can review products and you may eventually get a chance to uh, review products that they sent to you. Uh, so that's the gist of it for the most part. I'm not going to go into it, but this is my first influencer box. It came in this box. It has Revlon, then it has influencer on the side there. It came, of course, in its original packaging. And with this little pamphlet. And this is saying that... 
it well claims to have a flake free smudge proof wear uh, it deposits formula from lash line to tip for a mega lash look it's water resistant and removes easily with warm water I've used this once before <coughs> and I didn't see the big deal about it personally for me I'm better off with using my L'Oreal telescopic mascara or my better than sex mascara from Too Faced but here we'll give it another go and see I'm gonna apply it to my, both my top lashes and my bottom lashes okay you know what I'm seeing a big difference now maybe it's because I didn't use this mirror to apply it but it's making my lashes extra long and cool looking it literally looks like I have false lashes on. There's such a big difference. Okay, I'm gonna do my under, my lower one. Okay, like, look. Such a big difference. I think I actually might like this better than the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara because with the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, it doesn't make it lightens the lashes, but it doesn't make it look as full. And this one's making it, my lashes look really full. I forgot to add powder to my face to the top portion of my face. And then I'm just going to use brush. Okay, and now I can use my side spray to set my face. Okay, so now I'm going to go and fix my hair, and then I'll come back and get some slow mo ready for you. So I actually decided to change the lip color. I didn't feel it went as well, felt like I need something a bit darker because the eyes are a bit darker. So instead I used uh, this NYX Slim Lip Liner, or I guess it's just a regular lip liner in the color Expresso. And then the same Milani uh, lip color in Matte Naked. And this is what I came up with. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, like, and subscribe if you like. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>